we looked at the implementation of broadcast abstraction. First, let us look to best effort broadcast. This is quite easy to implement. So we use a perfect channel abstraction and we never the best ever broadcast gets a request to broadcast a message M. It sends the message to all nodes using a perfect link. And what is the correctness of this? If sender does not crash, by the perfect link property, every other correct process will receive this message. That is. And because the perfect link guarantees no creation, a no duplication of messages, then this property will be also satisfied by the best effort broadcast abstraction. Let us now look to the implementation of a reliable broadcast abstraction in the fail stop model. The fail stop model is a crash stop process model and if you remember it's also using a perfect failure detector so we are really talking about synchronous systems and we are going to show an algorithm that we call a lazy reliable broadcast it implements the reliable broadcast abstraction and the name lazy comes from that it will not send extra messages unless it detects that the process has crashed. So here is uh, the, an overview of the algorithm. It requires a perfect failure detector to broadcast a message M. You use the best ever broadcast to broadcast the message M. And whenever a process gets a best effort delivery, it saves the message and delivers it to the higher level. So this is the normal situation. Normal. Now we have to handle um, node crashes. So if a sender crashes, each process will detect the crash and it and it will send then the messages that it has received from S to all other processes. When we do this, we have two cases depending on the propagation of messages in the network. In one case, we get a message M from S, and then we detect the crash of S. The other case that we have to handle is that we detect first the crash of S, but after that, we get the message from S. And this is possible because the message could have taken longer time to propagate, whereas the crash could have been discovered uh, quicker. Let's say. In both cases, we redistribute uh, the message. To guarantee that we do not deliver duplicates of message, we also filter duplicates before delivery. So here is the, um, just go back to these two cases. We have case one where uh, we get the message first, we take the crash, redistribute. And case two where we, the crash happens, then we get the message from S and redistribute. I will just look more carefully to case two, just to explain this case two. So why case two? Case two happens because of the follow. So here we have three processes. Process B1 broadcasts a message M, and then after that it crashes. The message did not arrive to P3, which is, which is possible. Now at P2, P2 detects the crash first. Its failure detector detects the crash because the, 
the detection of the crash gets faster the network compared to say the delivery of the message from the network so here is the detect the crash so you detect p1 and here is the bib delivery of the message m from p1 so in this case we have a situation where only P2 got the message, but not P3. Therefore, P2 has to rebroadcast the message. That's why we need this rebroadcasting of the message. So here is our setup. We have a reliable broadcast component with the interfaces to re requesting broadcast, delivering a message, and we use a best effort broadcast component with also broadcast and delivery of message and a perfect failure detector component here. This looks the algorithm with lazy reliable broadcast. Again, I said we use the best effort broadcast and a failure detector. And then here is the algorithm initially. This is the initialization procedure. We have a set called deliver to remember messages that has been delivered to the application. This is the initial set of correct processes, we call it PI. So the delivery of course is used to for filtering duplicates. Then we have this array or a map that for each process PI it stores the messages that has been received from PI. Initially, for each process PI, the value is the empty set. No message has been received. Now, when uh, the reliable broadcast gets a reliable broadcast request, it just triggers a best ever broadcast with the message, with itself as a sender, and this is just a tag. Data is a tag. Whenever process PI has crashed, it removes PI from the list of correct processes and it resends all the messages it has received from PI. These messages are stored in the from PI. Okay, so it triggers, for each message, it triggers um, a bit broadcast. So this is just to redistribute anything we have from a field node. When a process gets a BIP delivery, then of a message M, this is the source, and it got it from PI, it could very well get it from PI different from the source because of redistribution of messages, it could be different. It looks first to see if M is already delivered or not. If it's already delivered, it does nothing. But if M is not delivered, it remember it in the delivery set, and then it stores it as a message coming from PI. So it stores the pair, the source, and the message. It delivers it. It does a reliable broadcast delivery higher up to the application. And it checks. It checks if PI has already crashed or not. Because we could very well get the crash before the delivery of the message. And if PI have crashed, it triggers a broadcast of this particular message. All right. So here is, we have two cases and, uh, that we discussed before. I'd like you to tell me which case it is. This is the case where P1 broadcasts the message M, then it crashes. P2 detects the crash first. Then it gets the message, and then it redistributes the message by doing a broadcast. So which case is this? It is case two. And case two we handled in the event that delivered the message, the handler of that event. Here is um, 
this should be of course case one we get a broadcast first then here the process p1 crashes p2 delivers the message then it detects that p1 has crashed then it reprocast all messages of of p1 very good now let us look to the correctness of uh, lazy reliable broadcast we have four properties three of them we inherit from the best ever broadcast the node application the node creation and of course the validity which says if the process that initiates the broadcasts is correct all other processes are going to deliver the message this is inherited the interesting property is the so-called um, agreement property and the agreement property says that if a correct node delivers a message m then every correct node delivers the message m so let us see through this and see how to prove this one so we assume that we have a correct process pk that delivers a message m broadcast by a process called pi we have two cases for pi pi either correct or pi has crashed if pi is correct the pip property validity ensures that correct delivery but if pi have crashed what is going to happen pk will detect this crash and this is because of the property of completeness of the failure detector so here we use the completeness of the failure detector because eventually it will um, detect the crash and then pk is going to use a best effort um, broadcast to deliver the message to all other nodes and again because pk is correct the best effort broadcast property pep1 which is the validity property will guarantee that all other messages all other processes uh, gets the message 